Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Nikita and today we're doing something which you may have seen going around on YouTube already. There's a couple of my friends that have done this challenge and I don't even know if you would call it a challenge, um, but it's recreating the Tatty and Scott Barnes natural makeup look. So if you haven't done so already, then subscribe to my YouTube channel, follow me on Instagram and let's get started. So I have this box of makeup here, which contains everything, or I think it contains everything which Scott Barnes used on Tatty. Not the exact product, but my version of it. Um, obviously, I don't have some of the brushes. Most of the brushes I don't have. I don't have any Scott Barnes stuff. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna play around and see how we get on. So I'm gonna start off with concealer, just like Scott does on Tatty. And we're gonna use the Tarte Shape Tape in the shade Medium Sand. And he just tends to conceal almost pretty much everywhere. <laughs> so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put it in all the places Scott does it on Tatty. And I'm gonna go in ham. Like I'm gonna Wait, use yes, makeup. Like I'm like not gonna pretend. Has anyone else got this tart shape tape and find that it smells weird? Like not bad. It smells quite chemically. And mine's not that old, so it's not like an expired smell. This is a lot of makeup. But it's okay because I'm gonna get in the shower and wash it all out afterwards. So he's done a really thin line. Oh! I don't have a steady enough hand. He does it thinner than that, but hey ho. And he does her forehead. If I don't look like JLo by the time I finish this, I'm gonna be pissed. I know for a fact I'm not gonna look like JLo, I'm only joking. <laughs> Don't we all wish we could look like Jada? So mm -hmm. I bring the light right all the way up to the he edge. He brings the light all the way up to the edge. That's what he says. <laughs> up to here. He does it in such a straight line. Not that it matters because it all gets blended, but. Okay, now we're going to use what he calls the cat paw. And I have my version of the cat paw, <laughs> which is this really old wonky. You see how wonky that is? No, doesn't it wonk? Oh, there you go. Now you can see the wonk. <laughs> this really old wonky Mac 190. Okay, so we're gonna flick. Oh my god, it's drying already. This is not good. This could be a disaster. My cat's paws don't feel like this when they touch me. I'm like literally giving you all my secrets here. What? And blend it up this way. See? Right, so he does this thing where he flicks it up. Am I doing it right? Okay, I'm gonna keep patting. Patting and flicking, patting and flicking. So if you haven't done so already, then check out Make Me Up Misses version of this and Teresa's and Elena's. They are all hilarious. Obviously this is not a very natural makeup technique. How am I supposed to deal with this before it dries? When there's so much of it on my face. Maybe I should've done it step by step. Oh well, you never you learn. I'll know for next time. You know, next time that I never do this, I'm probably not gonna do it again. And the nose is just left. Does nothing with the nose. So the chin, he does like this. And he does this. That's doing nothing because my concealer is dry. Oh. I'm not sure about this. I'm so glad foundation is going over this because right now it looks ridiculous, I think. Does it look ridiculous? Am I snatched? The answer is no. Right, jaws. 
So he uses a thing that looks a bit like a paintbrush. The closest that I have to a paintbrush is this Real Techniques 301 brush. But I guess I could do the same sort of thing. Let's see what happens. Um, and contour, I have my Huda Beauty Tan Tour in the shade Tan. But I think this might be a bit cool toned. What he uses is very, very warm. Okay, so I have three different contours that I'm going to use, well, I'm going to decide whether to use or not. I have my Huda Beauty Tan Tour, which is very dark and cool toned. I got a e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer, which is probably more along the lines of what he's using. So that's those two. And I have the W7 Lift and Sculpt Contour Palette. And there's two contour shades in here. So I will swatch those as well. So these are the four contour shades that I have at my disposal. Looking at the video, this one, which is the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer, is most along the lines of what he's using. So I'm just gonna clean these off my hands and then we'll start with that. Okay, so e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer in the shade Rich Chocolate is gonna go <laughs> all along my jawline. I'm gonna do just some dots for now because you can always add more but you can't take it away very easily so let's just see how this goes oh my god oh my god and he comes down in a v like this okay let's do this side what have i done seriously I don't know if he does her chin, but I'm just making them join up. <laughs> I look like I have a beard. This is what I do. Bring it into a V. Okay, so we're bringing it into a V. It's a wonky V. Oh my God, what is going on? And now we're gonna do my clavicles. I have some clavicles. That's why I'm doing this video now, because I'm doing these clavicles before this pregnancy takes away any collarbone that I could possibly have, <laughs> because it's happening. I feel like I need a little bit more, but this could be really dangerous. Right, I'm going to take my cardigan off. Oh, it's getting real. Okay, I promise I'm not naked. I have got my t-shirt on still. It's just pulled down a little bit. So we're going to use a tiny dot in here <laughs> and in here oh my god this is a disaster is this what I'm supposed to be doing someone please tell me So he brings this down a bit further. This V. <laughs> That's too much. This can be too much. Oh my God. This is not what's supposed to be happening. I know. It's because it feels like it's getting a bit dry. So maybe if I put some Primark primer water on. On my neck. I just have spots from where I put the concealer. Get in there. Now I have to do it on my face. I'm just trying to get any excess off the brush. I feel like two dots is enough. I am terrified. This needs to be lower down. <laughs> mm. 
think I could put too much on. See, that's about right. That's even that's darker than how he's how much he's put on in his video. Glowy and hubby. Just remember, a glowy and hubby Nikita. What Scott says, that's what you're gonna be. Although you don't need to be glowy and you don't need to be hubby because you're already pregnant. God. Just persevere. Goodness me. What have I done? Why did I decide to do this? Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I can't take myself seriously when I look in the mirror. Now, we're going to contour my forehead because it's where the light hits. Like the light's hitting right here, so mm -hmm. I'm just taking it down. I'm not going to put dots on my head because that's how this happened. I'm going to put some on the brush, but the tiniest bit. So I'm just doing this because I'm scared. <sighs> oh no. I just dropped the cream contour all over my phone. Oh, it's one of those days. Right, cream contour, head, let's go. Hey, we're meant to be flashing the nation. This is not how Tatty looks. This is not, I repeat, not how Tatty looks. Oh, he brings it right down to here. Or right, maybe I could just pick up some product from here. <laughs> it worked. <laughs> Let's get some more from here, seeing as there's an excess. Waste not, what not. Waste not, what not. Okay, next is nose contour and I'm dreading it. I feel like a tribal warrior that's about to go to war that's been painted with their fighting stripes. And I'm quite enjoying it. Right, nose contour. He uses a super sharp Scott Barnes brush that I think looks kind of like this. And this is the Jessup 322 Brow Liner. So I'm this just is watch where how people really mess up with contouring. They over contour and then they drag all this brown into the nose mm -hmm. and into the side of the face. Now, the intensity of his nose contour, quite similar to my cheek and my beard. So I'm going to pick some up on the brush. Oh my god, this is terrifying. Oh! I cocked it up already. Cotton bud. Okay, that will do. Right, so we have to do like a, a V. And then he like lines her lips with contour. Just look like I've got a moustache. <laughs> mm -hmm. I think I look a bit like a clown. Who's this closer to her lips? I'm not so sure. Let's see what happens next. Okay, so he uses two shades of foundation. One darker, one lighter. So I have the MUA Pro Base Longwear Matte Finish Foundation and I have it in the shade 170 and 164. 170 is darker. So I've done the foundation stage and idiot completely forgot to press the record button. What an idiot. I used Pro Base 170, the darker one, on my Flak Kabuki Lamora brush. And now I'm gonna go in with the lighter foundation. I still think I look like a bit like a clown. Um, I did my shoulders and my chest. This is my natural skin color. <laughs> um, right, so now we're gonna do the lighter foundation on the bits that are meant to be highlighted. 
it's all sort of seemed to mash into one. And I found a Revolution foundation brush. I'm not sure this is meant to be used for foundation, but that's what we're going to use it for today. And we're going to use the shade 164 and we're going to pop it on here, like so. And it's going to go, so he puts it here. And he said he just pats over the lips. But somehow, I don't think that's going to work in my case. I'm going to use the brush that the darker foundation was on to get some of that contour back. It's all in my hair. I don't want it in my hair. We need to do down here. Scott Barnes. I don't feel very glowy or hoey right now. Okay, so Scott uses cream blush next and then a bit more concealer under her eyes and then powder. I'm not using cream blush, I'm using powder blush. So I'm gonna do that after my powder. So we're gonna use more <laughs> concealer under my eye, as if that's even possible. Um, <laughs> I'm going to use my Too Faced Born This Way concealer in the shade Golden Beige. I don't even know where it's going to go because I have so much on. Okay, so he actually uses it on that flat cat paw brush again. So I'm going to put some on the brush like this. And I don't see him put anything on her eyes. So I'm going to put a little bit on there. Ow, ow. That's why you don't use a brush like this so close to your eye because you poked yourself in the eye with it. Sorry, Scott Barnes. You're probably never gonna watch this anyway. I'm not slating your technique, it obviously works for you. I'm just a bit of an idiot that pokes myself in the eye with a brush when she puts it near it. My face feels tight, there is so much makeup on it. Yeah, a lot of makeup. Right, now we're gonna use the e.l.f. Halo Glow Setting Powder and I'm going to use it on this little, this brush has no name. Let's pat away that crease. Try not to poke myself in the eye. Oh my god. I just realised that he all of a sudden magically blended out her nose contour. Now I remember was it Teresa or Missa, or maybe both of them, mentioning that it happened? But I neglected it. So now I have set eyes and a partially set nose and cream contour still on my nose. How are we going to blend this out? Do I use a little brush like this to blend out the nose contour? Or just use my big foundation brush and blend it? I think I'm going to go with this little brush and see what happens. This is a doe colour nameless brush. Oh my god, my cream contour is not moving. Guys, it's not moving. <laughs> I'm going to try wetting my brush with the Primark Primer Water. Oh my god, this could be a disaster. I feel like I need an even smaller brush. Okay, so I'm gonna use my Jessup 234 Lux Smoky Shader. And I'm gonna wet that. No, it's too wet. If my nose contour looks terrible, I apologize in advance. And it looks like I'm going up to my eyebrows. Okay, we've got this far, haven't we? Might as well just. I don't like Michael Jackson. What's going on? Okay, right, foundation brush. No foundation on it. Okay, we can't leave it like this. So I'm just gonna put the tiniest amount of concealer down the middle and try and blend that in a straight line. I'm gonna use my Jessup 230 Luxe Pencil Brush. Maybe it looks a little bit better. 
This is why I don't ever contour my nose to this extent, especially with cream contour. So I've just popped a touch of foundation, the lighter foundation on my found foundation brush and get some of it off because I really don't want too much. Now I feel like we need some more contour here. So that sort of salvaged it. I don't look like Michael Jackson anymore. I don't think. And I love Michael Jackson. I absolutely love him. I think he's amazing. Or was amazing. He had a questionable nose, right? Really? Sometimes you see really bad nose contour and it looks like they're behind bars. Just like mine at the moment. I'm giving up. That's how it's staying. Staying like that and it's just gonna have to be that way. Right, powder. Carrying on with e.l.f. Halo Glow Powder. Putting it all in the highlighted areas. Use a tiny bit on my eyelids just because I don't really know what he did with them. Blending it with the darker foundation, contour, whatever. I'm making it up as I go along now. I feel like I feel like Scott betrayed me by not telling me what to do with my nose. Okay, so now we're gonna go in with blush and I'm quite excited because I got this bad boy blush. It is the Barry M blusher palette and this is a recommendation of Make Me Up Missa. So thank you for that. And we're gonna go in with this bottom right shade, this super shimmery coral sort of color. And he does a flick. I don't even know if you can see that. I'm not flicking anymore, I'm just getting it on there like this. <laughs> I might use the other coral shade next to it as well. To give it a bit more pigment. I'm thinking that I might use this yellowy sort of shade in a minute when he does this weird stuff with powder. Right, so he does that and then he uses highlight before setting powder. Look at that wonky ass nose. <sighs> I don't know if I'm gonna cry. Right, so now we're gonna do some highlight and I'm so excited for this because it came yesterday and it's just beautiful. So it is the Jaclyn Hill highlight. I have the highlighter palette, which is this bad boy. Oops. Look at that. Oh, it's stunning. And I have the loose highlight as well. Oh, so pretty. Look at it. So, how does he put his on? Hey. Oh, yes. Ooh, she's gorge. So I'm going to use, uh, he uses a fan brush. I don't have mine with me. So I'm going to use the Real Techniques 300 brush. I'm going to go in with Glow Up, this one just here. Like he does. He has this weird sort of like paint brushy brush, which I don't have. So we will use a Jessup's 231 brush and we're going to go up here in the brow. I still haven't done my brows. What's happening with that, Scott? He has like a razor sharp line going down her nose. But we're not going to talk about this nose situation anymore because I've had enough of it. Where else does he do? Blowy and hoey! Okay. That's good. My lips. Still don't know what's going on there. Um, right, so we're going to use the loose highlighter. Are you ready for the looseness? 
yes, 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 yes. Yes. I literally want to cover myself head to toe in this. Don't know if that's appropriate. So let's see what that highlight looks like with my phone torch. Wait, let me turn my ring light down. Can you see it? Oh my god, I love it. Mm, I love it. Okay, let's carry on doing the rest of my makeup. Okay, so next he goes in with this like Neutrogena setting, no, it's not even a setting spray. Neutrogena like sunscreeny, shiny stuff. I have the Glow MUA Shimmer Spray. And I use this on my wedding day to make my legs super shiny and my chest really shiny and glittery and lovely and it was really nice. So I'm gonna do the same. And then I'm gonna use the same brush I used my powder on because it's the cleanest out of all that I have. And I'm gonna whack a load of Jacqueline highlighter on there. Right. Super shiny. Okay. Highlighter. Jacqueline highlighter. I'm mixing Glow Up and Made You Look, which is these two shades. And I'm getting what Scott calls Bobby Skin. Bobby Skin. Bobby Skin. Bobby Skin. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Look at her butt. Don't look at my butt. I'm pregnant and it's fat. Just because, why not? I'm gonna use some Jacqueline Loose Highlighter. Let's use it on. <gasps> yes. Yes, yes, yes. Now, if I was a performing artist, like J-Lo, this would make me want to go on stage. Now, do I look glowy and hoey? <laughs> look at that. Oh my god. Right, sorry, I'm just going to do the whole flash camera thing again. Love it. I love that highlighter. I have to admit, I'm not Jacqueline Hill's biggest fan, but she did good. She did real good. Thanks, Jacqueline. Giving me the collarbones I always wanted. Okay. Just recompose myself. <laughs> I did have Revolution Skin Finish out to use, but I got a bit carried away with Jacqueline and a bit excited. So sorry about that skin finish, but you are in pretty much every other video that I do. So we could just take a break today. So now we're gonna bronze. And I have another new baby to play with. This is Doll Beauty Gimme Sun in the shade Medium. It looks like this. He uses a fan brush again for this. I don't have a fan brush. Am I bronzing? Is anything happening? Somebody tell me if anything's happening. He does it in two swipes. Clearly. I'm not doing it in two swipes. <laughs> I think I have so much makeup on you just can't see it. And then what did he say? Toast the edges. Toast, toast, toast the edges. Toast, toast, toast the edges. Do I look toasted? I look more like baked. Like a cake would be out the oven because I got a cake face. What he does. What does he do next? He does lips. So I have my MAC lip liner in the shade Whirl. So that it's not two peaks, it's kind of like a round. Not two peaks? Has he seen my lips? They are two peaks. Bye, Cupid's bow. Nice knowing ya. I'm pretty sure Jado does not go on stage with these like brown outlines around her lips. <laughs> That's how it's gonna look for now. So what does he do next? I think he does lip gloss next. Okay. So he does his lip gloss. I'm really not happy about this. 
brownness. Where's that? This is that concealer brush. Jessup 230. Mm. This does not look right. Now, whenever I'm doing my eye makeup, I say to myself, trust the process, trust the process, it's gonna to come together. I don't trust this. Don't like this whole lip contour thing. Anyway, he does gloss next. So I'm gonna use the Fenty Beauty Fenty Glow lip gloss. And he goes and I'll like this. Out into the edge, out into the edge, out into the edge. Can I just say that I'm one unimpressed lady right now? So he does brows next with like some powder stuff. I have microbladed brows and I always use my number seven beautiful eyebrow sculpting pencil. So I'm just gonna carry on with that as I would. Okay, so brows are done. And then he goes in with some powder contour stuff. So I'm just going to use my normal powder contour, uh, my Revolution Pro HD contour palette. As you can see, it's well used. The lid has come off. It is here. It just doesn't stay attached. So I'm going to use these two shades that I've used most often. And then he says, if it's too much, see look, it does go back on. I should really just get a new one. Um, so then he says, you can use this like yellowy powder that he has, which is what I'm gonna use this one for. And I'm gonna use it, um, gonna use it on this brush my setting powder brush, if I can. And he said he flicks it up like this. I feel like that's making the slightest bit of difference. Okay, so brows, lips, everything's done apart from eyes now. I'm pretty sure that is all that is left of this video. Um, so I'm going to use my Tati Beauty palette. I'm pretty sure that's what they use in the video. They don't actually say, but I think I can remember her saying in a video later on that that's what she used with Scott Barnes. I just didn't say anything because it hadn't been released yet. So I'm going to use the shade Ritual Matte, which is this. I'm going to use it on my Morphe Jeffree Star JS6 brush. And apparently he only uses two colours in this. I use my Morphe JS9 and I'm going to use a bit of the shade Soothe in the matte, this one, just to blend that out a little bit. So for the under eye, I'm going to use that darker brown shade again on this Jessup 230 Lux pencil brush. I know he does it all on one brush, but I don't have that ability, I'm afraid. So he does use more than one, more than two colours. He said he's taking a light, more beigeier colour. <laughs> So I think they must be using Tati's palette because it's like he's trying to describe that shade without showing or saying the, set, the shade. So I'm going to use my Morphe Jeffree Star JS10 brush and I'm going to run that under my eye. Okay, so next he goes in with like a shimmery sort of satiny shade and I'm not sure if it could be Poet in metallic, this one, or Story in metallic, which is this one. 
and swatch them both and see. So that one is poet and that one is story. I think it could be story, you know. The story's quite crumbly and he seems to just be using it dry on her. Oh my God, look at that fallout. If this whole look gets ruined after all of this because of eyeshadow fallout, I might cry. Right, let's use a smaller finger with less eyeshadow on it. I need to do a full look with this tatty palette. I do love it. I'll do another video someday soon with it. So this Jessup 234 brush, I'm just gonna get a little bit of more of that shade on there and just blend it into the brown a bit. There we go, that's a bit better. I've just played around with the eyeshadows a little bit, added a bit more shimmer, add a bit more brown. Um, so I also think that he does a bit of like a, like a bit of a liner on her. Um, just like a dark brown liner maybe along the lash line. So I'm gonna give that a go and see how I get on. Using Ritual again. Oh God. Fall out, fall out, fall out. Okay, I'm gonna use that wet with my primer water. No, still got fallout. Oh! This is why I hate doing my eye makeup after. Now oh, all well, my brushes are falling on the floor. Of course they would. In hindsight, maybe he didn't even do an eyeliner on her at all because it looks a bit different to mine. So next he puts mascara on. I've just curled mine quickly. And he likes to backcomb them. <laughs> Whatever that means. I do have some new lashes to play with today from Doll Beauty as well. And they are dramatic as hell. So I'm using my L'Oreal Bambi Eye False Lash mascara. So these are my Doll Beauty lashes. I'll get them out of packaging for you and they are in the style divine so i'm just going to change my camera battery and then we'll pop them on okay we're done this has been stressful as hell mainly because of this eyelash that won't sit properly so i've decided to give up because it's just not staying there um it's sitting just about at the moment and it's good enough to stay like that but yeah what do you think i love that jacqueline hill highlighter oh my god look it is stunning this is not your everyday kind of makeup at all <laughs> um it's far too much for me i feel like i still can't really yeah i can't really move my face properly um, probably because my hair's pulled back quite tight, but that's okay. I'm gonna go in the shower straight away and wash it all off. But um, yeah, let me know what you think. I I had fun trying it, definitely. It was fun to play around and follow a, such a different kind of tutorial than you normally would and try something different because it's all the products that I normally have anyway, um, just used in a different kind of way, in a more extreme kind of way. Um, I like what it's doing to my jawline, although I think it's quite extreme. I think that I've probably done the highlight on my face a bit too much because my face looks a different colour to the rest of my body, although I don't know if that's the intention, it might be anyway. Um, I quite like the eyes, they're not as colourful as I, was no I would normally go for. Um, they're quite everyday for me, I guess. If you haven't done so already guys, make sure you check out the Tatty and Squat Barnes video and the Make Me Up Miss Up recreation of this, Elena's recreation of this and Teresa's recreation of this as well. They're all so much fun and it's always really nice to see everyone else's interpretation of the same technique and yeah, you'll have a good giggle watching them as 
hopefully you did with me because it was a sh show <laughs> shall we say um but yeah thank you so much for watching guys i hope you're all keeping well keeping safe and staying home if you can um message me on instagram message me here drop me a comment things like that let's have a chat and yeah keep up the good spirits because we all need them right now so i will see you on the next one guys thank you so much for watching and i love you all so much and just know that i'm thinking of everyone right now so yeah Love you all lots, guys. Bye.